no. So you want to see the new one size BB cream in action. I am here to show it to you. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Ohima. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into it, okay? Let's not play any games. So if you want to see the new BBB cream, which is Beauty Blur Balm in action, and if you want to see a wear test on it, then keep on watching. The Beauty Blur Balm is a product by One Size, which is also a brand of Patrick Star. It says, Prep It, Blur It, Tint It. This three-in-one texture solver glides on and gets to work transforming the appearance of skin for the ultimate natural beat and flawless soft matte finish. The first ingredient in here is water. It is an oil-free product. So if you do want to use a primer, you have to use a water-based primer because if you use an oil-based primer, it's going to separate and it's going to give you lines and it's going to make this product look horrible. Okay, so definitely go in with a water-based primer bbb cream comes in 18 shades and it retails for 33 dollars. we have here the deepest shade and this is the shade deep 3n it's a very deep foundation with neutral undertones okay. so this is the one size bbb cream this is what it looks like i really like the fact that i can see the shade of the product through here this is not a very fluid foundation because i don't hear it slushing around in the container the one thing that i saw that i like about this product is that it's not something you twist open it's just something that you push and it opens to the top so you can just go ahead and squeeze it on and apply it to your face, okay? Oh, okay, so if it's new, you have to definitely go ahead and open it and take that thing off the top. Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch this and see what it's all about. Ooh. It does come out looking kind of matte. This is the deepest shade that they offer. It looks very good on the back of my hand. The question though is that, is it gonna match my face? Because if the product is not deep enough on the back of my hand, then it's not going to be deep enough for my face. Interesting. I'm gonna let it sit on my face for a second and then I'll decide on whether or not I'm gonna use it because it does match the lighter parts of my face, but the way it's looking, it's looking like if I apply it to my face, it might maybe come out a bit too bright for my skin tone and I don't want to use a product that's going to make my face too bright to my face. So I'm going in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer to the left side of my face. Also make sure that I put some on my under eyes. This e.l.f. Primer is so tacky and you're supposed to let it sit on your face for about 30 seconds before you go in with a product. The one thing that I've also noticed is that it gives like a lot of grip to the product whenever you're putting it on. Okay, the moment of truth. That's that the best way to use this is to apply it with your fingers and just blend it in. So that's what we're doing. Oh no, this is too bright, this is too bright. Hmm, I'm already here, so I'm gonna try it, but if you're somebody who's as deep as me, one, I feel like one deeper shade. <laughs> Guys, this is too bright. With contour, I could definitely deepen it. This is definitely one of those situations where I'm gonna wash my face and you're gonna see that my skin tone has completely changed from what it was like before. If you're someone who's lighter than me, this would be like a spot on match for you. So this is it applied to my face. It's definitely given medium to full coverage because it has been able to cover everything that is not an exact match for it. The lighter parts of my face where a match was right here. Other than that, everything else on my face is deeper. And you can see that it's actually made my face a bit lighter compared to my neck. It is very lightweight though. So on a regular day, my shade in the one size turn up the base powder foundation is the shade number six. So with this being deep three, automatically it's just, it's not going to be a good match for me. So if you're somebody who uses me as a shade reference and you use the one size powder foundation in deep six, deep three in the BBB cream is not going to be a shade that you would expect it to just blend flawlessly into your skin. But 
I am gonna actually just finish this look and come back so we can see exactly what it looks like. Okay, you guys, so this is my finished look with the one size BBB cream. I was able to achieve a look like this with the help of some amazing contours and some blush. Just because I was able to make it work doesn't mean that it would work. Um, does not mean that I would actually say, oh my God, look, it matches and it blends so beautifully into my skin because it really doesn't. I think I'm gonna do the wear test. The time is now 4.54, so we'll say it's 5 p.m. I am gonna go and maybe come back in a few hours so we can see what it looks like. However, once again, the shade on it is not exactly as deep as I would have wanted it to be. I'll see you guys in a little bit. The time's at 10 p.m. So I finished my base around four and then whenever I finished everything on top of it, it was around five. So it's been six hours since I did my base and this is what my face is looking like. This wear test was not like any other wear test where I just sit around and wait for my oils to come through. This wear test, I actually did something. I was on a ladder putting up ceiling curtains. It was a whole lot. I was sweating, I was hot, but this is what my face is looking like. On the left side of my face, I have a primer and the product. And on the right side of my face, I have only the product. This is what it looks like. I. I feel like it looks really, really, really good for six hours without touch up and with me sweating all over the place. First thing that I noticed is that my my foundation right here is missing. If you can see my smile line right here is missing. Over here is fine. I feel like it's because of the primer. If I had a primer all over my face, it would have been okay. So we'll just use the corner of my nose for this because, you know, <laughs> at this point, the corner of my primer side is very oily. The oils on the no primer side is still oily. You can see that the oils over here extend up to here and I feel like you can literally tell that it's only a little bit of oils. Over here, it's showing like all over here is oily compared to here where it's only showing like from here to here is the oils. Other than the oils being a little bit more on the no primer side and the foundation being missing from my smile line. I feel like it looks really, really good compared to the primer side. The thing I'm gonna keep in mind is that if I want to have more oil control with this BBB cream, I'm going to have to use a primer for it. Based on the shade, it is not my shade. Based on everything else, it seems like it's a very good contender for a product that you can put on and sweat through it and it will still be on your face because if I tell you I was sweating, I was sweating. So I'm gonna go ahead and blot this. So that is it for me showing you guys the one size BBB cream. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about the foundation shade matte. If you want to see the shade reference for my one size powder foundation. I'm going to put it right here so you can check it out. That way you can see a difference between what this, what this foundation looks like and what that powder foundation looks like. Let me know what you think about these two shades. See you in the next video. Bye.